Hey everybody, welcome back to All Media Services. Uh, today we are going to cut the cable on the Starlink system. Um, this is, it's nerve wracking. It's scary, especially for the person who owns it. Uh, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna show you guys what happens uh, when we cut it. Um, obviously we're gonna lose service when that happens. And then we'll, we'll see if we can repair it and get it back up and running. Uh, and hopefully that'll be some good information for us and for you guys. So stay tuned and uh, see what happens. So we've opened it up. Uh, this is the inside of our Starlink cable. It's very similar to a lot of the cat cabling. Uh, you have different variations, but it has your, your shielding um, and your aluminum shielding. Your This is called a rip cord. Um, and it also could be utilized for um, suspending your cable if you're going between a gap. Um, and just keep in mind here, we'll let you guys know now, this is for a Gen 1. So the first generation, the round dish, um, so we, we haven't opened up uh, the cabling on a second gen yet, so we don't want to confuse the two and get you guys to open yours up or cut it or whatever and, and mess it up. So, so just so you know on that. Um, so yeah, we've got our, our rip cord. So this is also used to peel back the shielding if you wanted to go further along the cable. Like I said, our, our foil uh, shielding and then our casing around the outside. Uh, so now we're going to do the part that we have waited a long time, over a year, to decide to do. And that's going to be cut through these lines and try and repair them and get our Starlink system back up and running. Here we go! Go! Oh! Oh, he's mashing it. Oh! Oh, look at those. Oh, it's official. It's official. That is in two pieces. After cutting, we found out this is actually a stranded cable. I don't know if you can see that, but we've got a bunch of little strands are braided inside of this, uh, the, the smaller pieces here. And the stranded is better for applications where you're moving the cabling around, like if you were taking it to your RV or something like that. Uh, it's a bit more flexible. The solid core is mostly what we've worked with and it's just better for uh, permanent uh, installs or longer runs, that kind of thing. So this is what we've got. Now we're gonna take uh, one of these connectors, a crystal connector here, uh, and we're going to put it on this end of the cable that runs up to our dishy. And we're gonna plug it back in and we're gonna see what happens. rotors plugged back in so we've got power on it uh, we can see it's lit up here on our brick we've got our cable ran back uh, into the house here so one thing to mention is that we did have to cut out the EMI suppressor um, so that's uh, electromagnetic interference so it blocks that or, or hampers it a bit um, so we did take that out in this case but we'll, we'll have to see uh, if it if it works or or what it does and then we're going to give you hopefully an option to fix that afterwards as well so we're gonna plug it in and see what happens <laughs> We are online. So the only drawback to this is that uh, because we aren't suppressing the EMI anymore, I grew a third arm. Um, I mean, it's kind of helpful. So let's try this internet out. <laughs> uh, we've got this, uh, the piece that we cut off here. So it's just a short length. 
Um, we had the original end and then the end that we put on. And we're gonna run it through, I don't know if you can see that over here, uh, a surge suppressor. This is a TP-Link surge suppressor. So it has the two uh, connection points where you can bridge uh, uh, between two, uh, or two cable lengths. So I'm gonna plug that in to one side. And then the other side will just go back into our, our brick. So technically we still have the EMI suppressor on one end here. Um, I'm not sure how that's gonna play into this, but we're gonna plug it in and see if things come back online. Okay, and we can see our white light came back on the brick here. Um, so we do have power coming through. And so sec essentially that's just making a, a bridge connection between if your line gets cut. Um, so yeah, we're plugged back in. We'll give it a, a couple minutes and we'll see if we have internet again. All right, so it's up and running. Uh, we are very pleased with that because this is our only internet source here at uh, the, the location. So it's up and running, we're working. Uh, here's a speed test to take a look at. This is, we've only done one just to test it out, but it's kind of around our average that we're used to seeing. Uh, so as far as this video goes, we hope it did help you. Um, I'm sure in a lot of cases where if your cable got caked or, or uh, weed whipped or cut or something like that, uh, you need to know how to repair it and get you back up and running. Um, we're not sure how long this repair will last for. It might continue to work indefinitely or you might need to order another cable, but at least it gets you up and running for the meantime. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, uh, just leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, you can also check out our website, www.starlinkcommunityforums.com and find more great top content like that as well as forums and blogs. So we'll see you next time.